support provided by the Chesapeake and Newport News with chef-centric farm-to-table dining. Thechesapeake.org. Hi friends, Jay Sennett here. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jay. Hope all of you are doing well. Today I'm going to prepare a delicious dessert. Little mini apple hand pies, but I'm going to use the air fryer, okay? These delicious little things, oh my God, I can eat my weight in these things, <laughs> truly. Um, but I want to show you how I make these. Um, get it off of there. Okay, so down here I got a, a pie dough, all right? You buy pie dough, and when you roll the pie dough out, it's round. But what I did, I got the roller and rolled the, the uh, pie dough just a little bit more to make it a little bit more wider, which at the same time you're going to be making it thinner as well when you do that. I put some flour down on the cutting board, okay, and I make these little square pieces, okay, um, because the filling is going to go here, and then I'm going to fold that like so, all right. So Granny Smith apple, take the skin off, peel the apple, and I dice it up into fine little pieces. Mm, love Granny Smith apple. Okay. Um, and here, just one egg and a little bit of milk because I'm going to brush the top of these with this and I'm going to get my, my little brush. That's what I forgot. Da, 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 da. This thing here. Okay. All right. So let's go over to the stove and let's put this together and have... Now I have some of this stuff kind of like already rolling. That's about two, three tablespoons of butter in here. Okay. I'm going to put these apples in here so they can start cooking. And you don't want to overcook these apples. Okay. You don't want to mush. All right. Just stir them around. And some butter, okay? And I'm going to get some more sugar. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Get some white sugar over there. A little bit more brown sugar here. So this, we'll just cook these apples to make the filling. And in just another minute or two, I'm going to add some cinnamon. I have some Saigon cinnamon. And I'm going to add some brown sugar and white cane sugar. Okay? So two different sugars. I put a little bit more brown sugar in than white sugar. But the apples, again, I use Granny Smith. If you don't know what a Granny Smith apple looks like, it's green. <laughs> so I think there are other, there's another kind of a green apple, but just uh, look for the, the green apple. They're perfect for like apple pie, you know, desserts like this because they have that, that tart quality. There's a nice blend with sugar when you put mix sugar with the Granny Smith apples. Alright. Okay, again, you do not want to overcook these apples. It's because you want a layer of firmness on these little pieces, okay? Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, white cane sugar, okay? And some brown sugar light brown okay that's good there and I want to add some cinnamon eh, quarter teaspoon maybe half a teaspoon all right You know, 
you add that cinnamon to these, that smell just jumps out at you. They're delicious. <laughs> smells like grandma's kitchen already. And I want to add just a tablespoon or two of water. Okay? Just a little bit of water. So while this is going to sink for about another minute, um, Once you finish cooking these apples, you want to cool it a little bit too. So I have a pan over there with some ice water in it. And I'm going to dip this hot pan in that ice water to try to cool off the filling just a little bit before you put it on the dough. Okay? And I'm going to air fry. Now, I mean, when I first got the air fryer, my air fryer, I didn't use it a lot. I can actually be honest with you, I didn't like it, you know, I, I made some things in it, and it's like, ugh, texturally it was kind of weird, whatever, but I wasn't using it right, you know, once I really studied the process a little bit, and put together some dishes that um, were really conducive to that kind of cooking, I, I, I grew to like it, actually, uh, some certain vegetables you can put uh, like a like a pantor kind, Ta uh, tampor. There we go. Tampor, like tampor shrimp or tampor vegetables, something like that. Um, but in this case, we're gonna do the fried pies, the air fried ham pies, of the apple persuasion. All right. So I think that's good. Now, we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do here. This pan is real hot. So it's going to sizzle in that ice water. Again, I'm doing this before I put it on that dough. Okay? So you want to mess up your dough. This will cool off. That pan cools. Cold water will cool it off fairly quickly. Okay. And again, when you look over here at this, um, when you get just grocery store, you can get the the pie dough, pie crust, and when you take it out of the wrapper, it's like a cylinder kind of looking thing, and then it rolls out, and the circle of those. A little bit smaller than this, but I get the rolling pin, put some flour down, put the dough down, and roll it um, so you don't put the flour down so it doesn't stick. All right? Like so. And then I get a fork because we're going to pinch the edges. Let me show you how I do this. Good. It can get a little messy. See, that cools that off fairly quickly. Okay, so now let's take one. Put the filling in here. Maybe drain a little bit of the liquid. All right. From this off the side. Okay, now. That's a lot in there, so it's going to drain out the sides. That there. That there, and I get my fork. Around the edges, like so. Da, 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 da. It's okay if it leaks out a little bit, that's fine. All right, now, I want to get this out of the air fryer. Uh, the parchment is right here. Okay. All right, so here, the rack, put some 
parchment paper down. All right, there's one. But before I do that, I want to brush this. Oops, stay up there. With our egg and milk. And then I want to sprinkle just a little bit. We get some turbinado sugar and sprinkle that up there. Okay, so that's one. Let me set this there. Let's make a couple more. All right, this is fun. And again, try to get some of that juice back a little bit. Okay, all right. Another one here. Fork. Like so, brush it a little bit with the egg mixture. Some sugar. We have our second one, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this thing off of there. Okay, let's do uh, two or three more. All right. I'm telling you, you're going to love these things. There's a lot in that one. Okay. All right, Jay. Let's get it right. That seals the edges when you do this. Okay, brush a little bit. A little bit of sugar. All right. That's one more. Oh, come on. Oh, that one didn't stick. You have to make sure when you do this, it's over the bottom edge, okay? Like so. All right, that one doesn't look great. But let's see if we can make this one better. This is a smaller one. And you always get, I mean, get in a hurry because the camera, you know, this is a show. So it's, it's like you kind of have to hurry and rush through this stuff. All right, can we do one more, ladies and gentlemen? All right, you're seeing how I do this. You get the point. All right, All right you get the point. One more. Wow. Okay, that one came together nicely. Stick now. Yeah, I think that's the best looking one right there. Sugar. So, what we're going to do now is get the air fryer at 350. Okay, put, well, let's put this in first. Put it in. La, la, la. Okay, now turn it on. All right. Now. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, for 10 minutes, 350, 10 minutes. All right. Woof. <laughs> Got our little pies happening. So we're going to do one of these things I like to do with the editing. 
I'm not going to sit here and yap for 10 minutes while my little apple ham pies are cooking. So we're going to do one of these little things where I disappear for about 10, 15 minutes. And when, when these things are done, we're going to come back and take them out of the uh, air fryer. And you'll see what we have here. And through the magic of editing, though, it's only going to seem like just a couple of seconds. All right. So um, uh, sit tight and I'll see you in probably two seconds. It's going to seem like two seconds. Okay? All right. Okay. See? <laughs> it just seemed like two seconds, right? But actually about 10, 15 minutes went by. So what I'm going to do, the beep went off on the air fryer, and we're going to, I'm going to go get these apple hand pies, see what they look like. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Look at these. Oh, man. And they smell marvelous. So what I'm going to do is... It's a one. It's a two. It's a three. And five, we got a little less creative on the fifth one, but and what you can do there at that point, you know, we didn't have a lot, so you can get some some cinnamon, sprinkle it around like that a little bit, and. Get yourself these little delicious, and they're nice and crispy on the outside. Get a little bit of that sugar on top. Mm -mm -mm. With that delicious apple filling. Um, and these two over here are ready to go in. The two that we so, just made enough for the show. And, you know, when I'm doing the show, it's kind of like I'm on a clock. So I have to I kind of rush through things. Uh, like putting those, const constructing them, right? <laughs> Cutting the dough out, then getting it, and then getting the corners, right? And I'm all, all while I'm thinking about time, time, how much time is this taking, right? So you tend to rush, but, but you get the gist. That's the whole point. You get the gist of what I'm trying to do. And you can see how I put these, these apple ham pies air fried, right? Use your air fryer at 350 degrees, 10 minutes, and they will be perfect and they're delicious. It's a great little snack. Um, if, you, if they've sat for a day or so, you can heat them back up in the microwave oven, and it's just like you're taking them out of, out of the air fryer. You, know, you want to get that feeling a little bit hot inside. All right, so that's, that's what's happening today. I'm cooking with Jay here in the Jazz Kitchen. I'm Jay Sennett. Cooking with Jay airs Sunday evening starting at 6 on the WHO Public Media Facebook page. It stays up on a page, and... You can just scroll down if you can't tune in at 6 to watch it. And you can scroll even further down to see older episodes that just stay up on the page. Or you can go to the WHO Public Media YouTube channel, type in Cooking with Jay, and a bazillion episodes of the show will come up. I want to thank the Chesapeake for underwriting, their underwriting support. Thank you so much. I want to thank all of you for watching the show. If you have any questions or comments about the show, always feel free to email me at to j.senet, J-A-E dot S-I-N-N-E-T-T -T, at W-H-R-V dot org. I host Senate in Session, great jazz music, Monday through Friday night, Monday through Thursday nights from 9 until 1, Saturday mornings 1 until 5, Sunday afternoons from 1 until 5 on W-H-R-V FM 89.5, and the R&B Chronicles, the very soulful R&B Chronicles, um, Friday nights from 7 until 8. And... That's it. I think I covered everything. Until the next edition of the program, go, I'm going to go eat some apple ham pies fresh out of the air fryer. Be safe out there, friends. We'll see you again soon for another edition of Cooking with Jack. Support provided by the Chesapeake in Newport News, catering to the palate of every single resident. More at thechesapeake.org.